Hello everybody and welcome back to Lucky by Nature. I'm Beast Demon and ever since the Lucky Strikes Back series came out, we have been getting so many emails from people wanting either to know how the glitches were done or wanting me to come into their server and take out their enemies using the tricks and glitches I used against the five tribe bullies known as Triforce, the Triforce 5. I even had a few people accuse me of using software and uh, according to them they reported me to wildcard. Um, guys I don't use software which as you all probably know it would be a sure way to get banned. I know I will get some heat for this but I do feel I need to clear the air a bit here. So let's talk about some of those glitches I used uh, but I consider them more to be uh, taking advantage of mechanics wildcard put into the game but let's just call them glitches because I already know that that is exactly what most people will call them so there were four main glitches that people were asking me about and I will go over them in order of popularity from bottom to top so number four how I make tame gigas and rexes jump over behemoth gates this is a mechanic that you see a lot, especially when you have your dinos following you. You see your dinos flying all over the place. And there are several dinos that have the ability to jump extremely high. Obviously, I won't show you exactly how I do it, but it's the same concept. You just have to use your imagination to make it work against people's uh, tamed rexes and gigas that are on neutral or attack target. Also you need a bit of room to make them run and jump. So let's move on to number three. How I make the gigas not fight back when they are getting killed by the golems. This is some kind of hiccup in the game itself because if you watch the video where I go into the caverns of lost hope which I put uh, just a few days ago when I go in there with the golem, nothing seems to be able to aggro on it. Also, if you notice, sometimes the wild dinos in the caverns will aggro, they will take a bite and then stop again while they are being beaten by the golem. If you notice on the Lucky Strikes back series, you see that as well, but you can only make it work if you are on an RG for some reason. I have never been able to make it work with any other flyer. So let's move on to number two. How do I make the golems stop fighting? There is a certain maneuver you have to do with your RG while pressing certain buttons. And for some reason the golems stop moving and they will not fight back. I find this a bit useful if I know I'm going to get attacked by someone on PvP because I mean, as you know, I, I'm a lone wolf and I don't have much in PvP. Uh, I usually go in there, I you know make a few guns, and then I go and basically troll somebody. So what I do, if, I'm, if I know I'm going to get attacked by a larger tribe, I can place the golems where I want and get them ready to attack at the same time. Or I use them as defense for my little building. But if the tribe uh, that's attacking me has gigas, then I'm pretty much toast. But that's uh, when I go into relentless mode and keep on chipping away at them until they finally agree not to bother me. Because, you know, I mean, I, th I find it kind of fun just to go around, you know, killing things here and there and killing them uh, when they don't see me and running around. I mean, it's pretty fun. But anyways, I found this out by mistake. And at first I thought the game was messed up. But after trying a few times, I was able to duplicate it. So, you know, ever since then the rest is history so number one how do you glitch golems through metal walls and behemoth gates I know there are a few people uh, out there that know of one way to do this if you saw episode 3 of the Lucky Strikes Back series I did tell you that there were three ways to do this but I know that there's a few people out there that know how to do this one way and uh, I'm not gonna go over specifics but 
So because they know of that one way to do it, they go ahead and build an outer perimeter around their behemoth metal doors using either metal pillars or metal dino gateways. So let's talk about the other two ways that most people don't know about. One of the ways I had mentioned was if your target puts spike walls against their walls or their outer perimeter, you can use that to glitch the golem through. But it's really hard to do and you don't really have much control over the spike wall since you would have to be lucky enough for your target to have put them there. But the second way is what I use and to date I have not heard of anyone else using this method. The other two methods you can stop but this method is pretty much game breaking because there is literally no way to stop this. I will give you a demonstration of how useless pillars and the dino gateways really are against this method. First, the pillars. I put uh, this trap here and the pillars are four high, which is uh, about the height of a dino gateway. And as you can see, the golem goes right through without any issue. So now let's go one more pillar. Now we are five pillars high and that does make a difference, believe it or not. As you can see, the golem does get stuck, but you know, I just uh, let it go back into rock form. And then uh, when I go right back to it, it comes up and it's right through. Now let's try dino gateways. See, not a problem. And so now I would simply use my RG to get it through the main perimeter, like, uh, you know, the behemoth doors. And it doesn't matter whether they are stone or metal. But I bet you are wondering how I would do that. I will show you one part of the trick, but it takes more than this to make it work. Once I'm past the outer perimeter, I simply go behind the golem and do this. Now, as you can see, the golem is just sitting there floating. I have full control of it. So now there is another maneuver you have to do, and that's how you make it go right through the doors. But it's not really that simple to do. Like I said, I know I will be getting a lot of heat over this. I'm not using any software, so there is no need to have a heart attack about it. I only use these things when absolutely necessary and I have never shown anyone exactly how it is done because it really does change some people. And I learned this the hard way about a year ago so I will never make the same mistake again. I showed someone that I thought was my close friend uh, one trick and they got to their head and became a tyrant. So ultimately we had to take them out after people were complaining. It seems that it's much harder to do the right thing by people than become a tyrant on a game that people should just enjoy and I found that the drama is real. But uh, with that said, that's it for me guys. So until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.